Hey guys, welcome back to Judo Highlights. So I'll be here for me, another legendary performance. Him and his sister continue to do amazing things. And if they go through and get another gold medal each, that'll be Olympics to Olympics without losing a match. Absolutely unstoppable. So we'll have a look at his matches from the first round all the way to the last. The match with Kaya from France, pretty interesting considering that Kaya had a pretty big match with Moriyama recently. So let's get into it. Samuel Hall from Great Britain did pretty well to survive for as long as he did. When Abe goes in for an attack, there's not many people that survive. So Sam, good good job here. Well done. You survived an Abe here for me, Seoinage. A Sode attempt here. And I don't think it's just surviving the throw that people need to do. People need to really figure out his kumikata and make something that he doesn't like. Because whenever he gets a sleeve, if he gets one sleeve, I mean he's pretty hard to stop, but if he gets two sleeves, he's almost unstoppable. Now this is just a suggestion, but someone came out and gripped like Ono Shohei, I think Abe me would have, have some troubles. Those kind of grips around the eddy, being really tight, hard to break off, I think that's the way to go. So this is round three against Bushta. Abe defending easily here. And unlike his sister, he doesn't like the Nemoza. I think it's his weakest part, but he does well to just defend what people kind of throw at him. Very good defensively in the Nemoza, but offensively, just something that we've never really seen from him. Now Bushta, I mean, he takes Abe off balance. It's after this exchange. And that in itself is, is something remarkable. I don't think I've seen Abe Hifumi off balance in quite a bit of time. Domai Kawabata was saying, it's almost like Abe is doing judo by himself and the people are there just to be thrown. But have a look, here's a bit of Ashiwaza. Gets him off balance. And then Abe returns. So that's just incredible. You know, he makes a mistake, a small mistake, and then he manages to get it back all the time. And have a look at this Kosoto, sticky foot, Kosoto as they like to call it. Beautiful technique. In the quarterfinal, up against Bayan Mook from the United Arab Emirates. There's that Kosoto again. And Bayan Mook kind of looking for similar techniques as Abe, the kind of elbow through Sode. But you can see Abe, he knows how to defend that perfectly. Here's Abe's famous Kosoto Gari. He's KO'd people with this before. And the defense from Bayan Mook, absolutely incredible. Now this, good enough for a Wazadi score, you can kind of see as Bayern Monk flips over, he's kind of on the side of his shoulder. And then Bayern Monk, I mean, kind of taking it to Abe here a little bit. Abe forced to kind of use his hips to really defend the Tsuchimata. But then, in the next exchange, Abe, I mean, he had had enough. There's the Sode going over. It's just incredible how he's able to do this. People know it's coming. And they can't stop it. So there's a first sleeve, there's a second sleeve. And as soon as he got that second one, he went in immediately. Now this is the semi-final against Kaya. And one thing I'll point out is the size difference. Look how big Abe looks. And if you guys remember back to Mariyama versus Kaya, Kaya was the, the much bigger man than Mariyama. Kind of bullying Mariyama around, really pushing him around. But there's a definite size difference here, I think, between the two. Abe the much bigger man and Kaya not really pushing around Abe at all. These two fighting for the grips a lot. There's a lot of kind of back and forth with the hands. And one thing I'll point out is Abe is really good at breaking that top grip off. He's got lots of ways that he does it. You're going to see him push. Push Kaya off him in a minute right there. And he's got some other ways of doing it but I mean, that really sets up his techniques. Absolutely incredible at breaking that top grip off. And you'll see it here in the final Ipon. So he breaks the grip off. And then watch his leg come across, looking for the Osoto. He gets him twice, one, two. So he kind of anticipated that Kaya would defend. And then threw the second leg the second time. Absolutely amazing. And now to the final against Imo Mali, and Imo Mali, I mean, he tried something earlier on, took the big hand over the top, looked for his belt, and Abe, he just gave up the Shido. He said, no, I'm not playing this game, I'm going down, taking the Shido. Very, very good at playing the Shido game, Abe. When he's in a situation that he doesn't like, he gets out quick, 
and then he plays his game. Especially if you've got, um, He's only here to play his game. Jack anywhere near you. Whoop, uh -oh. And taking that belt grip, he loves Ochigeti nice. from that situation, but kind of mixes it in with Uchimata here. And he can do a massive Ogoshi from there as well. So guys, Abe Hifumi, insane performance, unstoppable, as well as his sister. Definite gold at Paris, I would say. I don't think there's anyone stopping him. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.